This is Omar Maldonado here with uh, Journal Inquiry and Analysis, video 10. Um, today we're going to be talking about the digital revolution. So we had a video we had to watch and it was a pretty interesting video. It talked about how we're entering this digital revolution and it started off by showing um, the difference in computers. So back 25 years ago, a computer was about the size of a briefcase. Now, it said there's been a 25 years later, the same computing power, 500 times better as an uh, iPhone. So he's starting to show the trend that is actually happening now with exponential growth within technology, with computers, with uh, and computers and technology. <clears throat> what he also went on to say is that in about 40 years, or yeah, 40 years, about. 40% of all 500 fortune companies will be out of business. And he gave an example of Kodak. Back in the day, there was this guy who came out with a, a camera that took 12 pictures at once. It was about four pounds. Kodak said, no, we're not interested. We don't want it. We don't really care for it. Well, what happened is Kodak is now out of business, and that, that guy who came up with that camera is in business. So he's showing that companies have to keep up with the times. Um, a lot of things that have come out is he's also showed something that uh, was very interesting is that there's going to be an AI program and he demonstrated or showed a clip of Watson which is by created by IBM and they played Jeopardy now what happened is Watson was against two champions from Jeopardy and he just destroyed them it wasn't even a contest the guy asked the question question was done, Watson was answering the question. And showing that in this next decade, everything will be on the internet. Everything. Um, you can diagnose yourself, you can look up how to create cars, all the knowledge that you want is it will be at your fingertips. It will be so easy to access. And the reason behind it is just very simple. It's, we're moving into that, that curve where everything just starts blowing up technology wise and computer wise um, along with this there's also a problem though a lot of people will be out of a job a lot of people will be able to won't it gave the example of um, teachers and doctors and whatnot because everybody will be able to pull up the information that they need right at their fingertips better than what a physician would be able to tell them or that a teacher would be able to tell them so he points out that we'll be able to learn from this AI system. After that, he went on to explain about robotics and how that's taking over and how <clears throat> along with robotics, there's, uh, they're going to have aut autonomous cars now that are going to be driving, that are going to be uh, available for people. Um, and how some the, the job market is going to drop. It's not going to be beneficial to have laborers. You're going to cut costs. You're going to cut external uh, costs a lot once you have robots and all you're gonna have to worry about is electricity or the power source that these robots are gonna need in order to continue working there's also a lot of other things coming out that I thought uh, what was most interesting was the fortune 500 companies losing being out of business not only that but the idea of 3d printing they showed a clip of 3D printing of a wrench. They showed that even motorcycles, they, with all its different components and parts, can be 3D printed. Um, something that I really liked was the idea of 3D printing prosthetics that match exactly the person. They showed a guy who had, was an amputee of his right leg. They took a 3D image of his left leg, left leg and after that, they printed, just reversed it, printed a, a exact copy for his right leg. And that's, I think that's pretty cool because that's more of the field I'm going to go into as in physical therapy and all that. But just the idea of how fast things are progressing, how quickly everything is moving is mind-boggling. And that we need to keep up with the times because... If we don't, we're going to get left behind. That's what I learned today. Thanks.